Hello everyone, Phoenix Knight here. Welcome to the channel, and welcome back to the spring campaign for Arkham Horror, the card game. Sunday, the Essex County Express gave us one experience, but we paid a very heavy price for that experience. Stella and Daisy both found themselves sucked into the void and adding a story weakness to their decks. And while Stella's experience beyond time and space came without a trauma, Daisy wasn't so lucky. Daisy picked up her second physical trauma and put the spring campaign in peril. Two physical trauma, Daisy is playable, just. But three physical trauma, Daisy is not. Now the ladies find themselves in Dunwich, but before they investigate the blood on the altar Sunday, we need to spend their experience first. We'll do that in this video along with having the tarot reading for the next scenario. As the lead investigator, let's go ahead and start with Daisy. Hello Daisy. One experience is almost zero XP swap territory and would be were it not for the circle undone. It didn't help that I brought two upgrade cards into a campaign that is very stingy with experience. We haven't been able to use the Forbidden Tome which we translated in the first scenario, and we're not going to be able to use the Dream Diary. As such, we're going to upgrade the Dream Diary to Death 13. I've made this upgrade before, but for the benefit of anybody brand new to the channel, let's take a quick look at Death 13. So Death 13, uh, free from the past, three cost to play, it's a tarot, you get plus one lore, and as a reaction, when the game begins, if Death 13 is in your opening hand, put it into play, let go, and embrace a new truth. And as you can see, it does take up the tarot slot, which I don't think is actually present on the Mats from Board Game Solutions. I'll have to look at that again when I go to play the scenario next, when I go to play Blood on the Altar Sunday, but anyway, both of these upgrades will be relatively quick, so we'll go ahead and say hello next to Stella. Hello, Stella. With no trauma, the need for the Survivor Tarot card is not as pressing as the need for Daisy's. However, we do need to protect Daisy, especially her health, at all costs. To that end, I plan to keep the two of them together as much as possible in the next scenario, but in more immediate concerns, we're going to upgrade one of our copies of A Test of Will to level 1. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at A Test of Will level 1. So it's a one cost to play, obviously it's one experience. So it's a, it still keeps the will icon on commit, but now you get to cancel the card's revelation effect, then you exile a test of will. Now this will be my, having not played much Survivor in my time playing Arkham, this will be the first time I'm having to deal with exiling a card. You might have also seen remove from the game on other cards in the game, along with in this campaign I think. I think both Harold Walstead and Adam Jones, or whatever his name was, back in the Miskatonic Museum had the text on there to remove them from the game if they get defeated. But anyway, unlike in Magic the Gathering we might encounter those two terms, however, here they're not interchangeable. So both of them involve putting them aside for the scenario, but there's a difference in how they come back to your deck. So if you remove a card from the game, you get the card back after the scenario is over. But if you exile it, you have to rebuy the card. But you do get a level a free level zero card if, for some reason, you can't buy it back. And in this campaign, it is way too easy to have that happen. So anyway, that will do it for Stella. We'll move back up top for the tarot reading. The tarot deck caused us big problems with the card we flipped last week. Hopefully we won't end up with another Tower 16 catastrophe, but the only way we'll find out what actually will happen is to get into the reading, so let's jump in. If you recall, last week for the Essex County Express, we flipped the Tower 16 to its bad side, but and that gave us that gave Daisy amnesia and Stella an arm injury, and as you can re as you may recall, both of those weaknesses came out and messed our ladies up something fierce. So I did make a small boo-boo with Stella and her arm injury where I wasn't able to do two of... Basically, I had one of her turns... I shouldn't have been able to run one of her turns the way I wanted to. But... I did put a note in the video about the mess up when it happened. But anyway, we'll give this one more... a couple more quick shuffles. I'm trying to shuffle the Tower 16 back to the bottom and to cut 
And then those will be our two tarot cards for the scenario. So let's take a look at our first card we find. Justice 11. Cancel the first doom that would be placed on the final agenda of the game on the good side. Or if we flip it to the bad side, the final agenda of the game enters play with one doom on it. So it's basically, it's basically Ancient Evils on the last doom. Without the claws, thankfully. But anyway, the other tarot card we have to look at. Wheel of Fortune 10. Once each act, when an investigator, when any investigator reveals a ten, reveals, that looks like a, let me just zoom this, yep, okay, that is a tentacle, I thought so. So basically, once per act, when each investigator, when any investigator gets tentacle touched, the investigators may cancel it and treat it as a zero instead on the good side, or, if we flip it, once each, ag each agenda, the first time any investigator reveals an Elder Sign token, cancel it and treat it as a minus five instead. So basically the choice we come down to here is do we cancel the first Doom that comes onto the final, on the final agenda and end up canceling, an elder, canceling our first Elder Sign each agenda and making it minus five? Or do we have one additional Doom on the final agenda and be able to cancel a tentacle to a zero. Um, hmm, this is a tough decision. I think what we're going to do here is I think we are going to flip, I think we are going to flip the wheel, flip wheel of fortune 10. So what we're left with is we're canceling the first doom that will be placed on the final agenda. And once each agenda, the first time any investigator reveals an elder sign, Cancel it and treat it as a minus five. So nothing, hopefully nothing too catastrophic. Certainly nothing that's going to add any weaknesses to our deck, that's for sure. But anyway, that will do it for this tarot reading and upgrades video. Sunday, we're all set to investigate the blood on the altar. Thank you for watching the video. Please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Be sure to turn on notifications so you get my content. Be well, stay safe, take care of yourselves and your loved ones, and I'll be back with more videos in the future. Until then, take care everyone.